every year in the U.S., as the seasons change from colder to warmer weather, the atmosphere can become active with unstable weather patterns. During this period, there is an increase in severe weather, particularly severe thunderstorms and their most dangerous products, tornadoes. Tornadoes are violent rotating columns of air, extending from a thunderstorm to the ground. The most violent tornadoes are capable of tremendous destruction, oh my God. with wind speeds capable of exceeding 300 that? miles per hour, or more than 482 kilometers per hour. Oh my God. The Depending on the size and strength of a particular tornado, these destructive winds of these storms can damage homes, uproot trees, hurl heavy vehicles, and people, long distances, or even totally destroy very large buildings. Tornadoes tend to occur mostly between the hours of 3 and 7 p.m., when the heat of the day creates the warm and instability to fuel powerful thunderstorms. However, tornadoes can occur any time of the day or night, of which, nighttime tornadoes are the most dangerous due to most people being asleep when they occur. But what makes tornadoes particularly dangerous to people is the fact that in most cases, the extremely high tornado winds will turn loose objects and debris from damaged or destroyed dwellings into deadly projectiles. In the most severe and strongest tornadoes, simple wooden straws have been observed to have been driven into the trunks of large trees. High impacts by flying objects and falling debris are the single biggest cause tornado-related injuries and deaths to people impacted by these storms. What's more, the damage paths of tornadoes can range, meaning they can travel anywhere from a few feet, meters to as long as 50 miles, 80 kilometers, or longer. Likewise, the width of a tornado's damage-producing funnel can range from as narrow as a few feet, meters to as much as 2 miles, 3.21 kilometers, miles wide, the widest known size on record. An average of more than 1,200 tornadoes strike throughout the U.S. each year, with the majority of these violent storms occurring in a region known as Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley is a multi-state geographical region located in the central part of the U.S. It encompasses the particularly tornado-prone areas of central Texas north into Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, southern South Dakota, and parts of both eastern Missouri, and Iowa. And though tornadoes strike in many parts of the world, the region of Tornado Alley sees the largest number of tornadoes of any place on Earth. In terms of the most active period for tornadoes, tornado season in and around Tornado Alley runs from about mid-March to the end of June. People living in this area need to be alert to severe weather forecasts particularly during this of the year. There is also a secondary geographical area within the U.S. of increased tornado activity known as Dixie Alley. Dixie Alley is a region of active tornado-producing weather located in the southern U.S. The Dixie Alley region encompasses parts of Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama, as well as parts of eastern Georgia and Florida in more active tornado-producing years. Tornadoes in this region are especially dangerous because of the constant presence of the atmospheric conditions for the formation of tornadoes for most of the year. This means that while Tornado Alley has a general tornado season when most tornadoes are likely to occur, Dixie Alley has no specific tornado season. This is true because the conditions necessary for tornadoes to form, warm moist air at low levels, cold dry air at the upper levels, and the presence of shifting wind patterns known as wind shear are present for most of the year. Tornadoes in Dixie Alley also tend to be of the particularly powerful, long-lived, and long-traveling type. Additionally, tornadoes in Dixie Alley are more likely to strike at night than those that occur elsewhere. Those factors combined with the lack of underground shelters and basement, 
The high prevalence of mobile homes and lower quality construction of homes in the region make tornadoes in Dixie Alley particularly deadly. Across Tornado Alley and other parts of the country, tornadoes kill an average of between 50 and 100 people a year, but can vary depending on each tornado event. The May 2, 2011 Joplin, Missouri tornado killed 158 people. When weather patterns begin to change to the point where severe thunderstorms are possible, meteorologists will keep an eye on the possible development of supercell thunderstorms. It is from these particular types of powerful thunderstorms from which tornadoes develop. If tornado favorable conditions threaten to develop, a tornado watch will be issued. A tornado watch is a weather advisory issued by the National Weather Service whenever the conditions exist for the possible development of tornadoes and severe thunderstorms capable of producing tornadoes. During a tornado watch, those living in the watch area should be alert for worsening weather conditions, if an actual tornado has been sighted, or if weather radar indicates that one is in development, a tornado warning will be issued. A tornado warning is an advisory issued to warn residents of a warning area to take cover. When a tornado warning has been issued, local authorities will sound warning sirens, for areas where they are used. Additionally, local television and radio programs will be interrupted to warn of an approaching tornado. Finally, those with weather radios will receive a warning alert of a warning, tornado safety, should an actual tornado approach where you are. Consider the following. In a house with a basement. Avoid windows. Get in the basement and under some kind of sturdy protection, heavy table or workbench, or cover yourself with a mattress or sleeping bag. Know where very heavy objects rest on the floor above, pianos, refrigerators, water beds, etc., and do not go under them. They may fall down through a weakened floor and crush you. Head protection, such as a helmet, can offer some protection also in a house with no basement, a dorm, or an apartment. Avoid windows. Go to the lowest floor, small center room, like a bathroom or closet, under a stairwell, or in an interior hallway with no windows. Crouch as low as possible to the floor, facing down, and cover your head with your hands. A bathtub may offer a shell of partial protection. Even in an interior room, you should cover yourself with some sort of thick padding, mattress, blankets, etc., to protect against falling debris in case the roof and ceiling fail. A helmet can offer some protection against head injury. In an office building, hospital, nursing home or skyscraper. Go directly to an enclosed, windowless area in the center of the building, away from glass and on the lowest floor possible. Then, crouch down and cover your head. Interior stairwells are usually good places to take shelter, and if not crowded, allow you to get to a lower level quickly. Stay off the elevators, you could be trapped in them if the power is lost, in a mobile home. Get out. Even if your home is tied down, it is not as safe as an underground shelter or permanent, sturdy building. Go to the nearest sturdy building or designated shelters. Most tornadoes can destroy even tied-down mobile homes, and it is best not to play the low odds that yours will make it, at school. Follow the drills that are practiced on a regular basis. Go to the interior hall or windowless room in an orderly way as you are told. Crouch low, head down, and protect the back of your head with your arms. Stay away from windows and large open rooms like gyms and auditoriums. In a car or truck vehicles are extremely risky in a tornado. There is no safe option when caught in a tornado in a car, just slightly less dangerous ones. If the tornado is visible, far away, and the traffic is light, you may be able to drive out of its path by moving at right angles to the tornado, seek shelter in a sturdy building, or underground if possible. If you are caught by extreme winds or flying debris, park the car as quickly and safely as possible out of the traffic lanes. If there is no time to leave the vehicle or to seek shelter, stay in the car with the seat belt on, put your head down below the windows, cover your head with your hands and a blanket, coat, or other cushion if possible. 
If you can safely get noticeably lower than the level of the roadway, leave your car and lie in that area, covering your head with your hands. Avoid seeking shelter under bridges, which can create deadly traffic hazards while offering little protection against flying debris. In the open outdoors. If possible, seek shelter in a sturdy building. If not, lie flat and face down on low ground, protecting the back of your head with your arms. Get as far away from trees and cars as you can, they may be blown onto you in a tornado, in a shopping mall or large store. Do not panic. Watch for others. Move as quickly as possible to an interior bathroom, storage room or other small enclosed area, away from windows. The key to remaining safe during any tornado-related threat is to remain alert for changing weather conditions, and to listen to weather and news reports for any vital information.